Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're going to talk about how to play the games you find on Game Jill. It's pretty important to be able to play games. First of all, you can pick a category you like. If you like arcade-based games, action-based games, adventure-based games, platform-based games, puzzle games, RPG games, shooters, sports games, strategy or sim games, or just other random games that don't fit in the above categories, you can go to Indie Games and click on whatever you want. Say we like puzzle games. Um... Yeah. So then, you can scroll down a bit, and you can filter these games. Now, there are many different ways to play. Um, first off, you can find out, like, if you want to download the game onto your computer. If you have a Mac, you'd click Mac. I have Windows, so I'd click Windows. And then you can pick a Windows-based game. Like, here we have TIM underscore. And this also has a web-based version, but if we hit download it takes us to a page that looks like this and that tells us hey guess what you've downloaded it for windows if i want to download it for linux i'd click here if i want to download it for mac i'd click here and basically that gives us a little download that looks like this now this little icon right here these three books on top of each other that is because i've downloaded something called winrar winrar basically makes it super simple and easy to unzip files it's the best way to do it. Um, WinRAR is free. I'll have a link to the description so that you can download it. Basically, if it's not a .exe game, you're going to need WinRAR. And whenever you open up WinRAR, it's going to have this stupid little blah, blah, blah. And you can just click X because you don't care about it. And you're going to not have your shit just leave. And then, basically, you can unzip this, which is pretty simple. You go to your desktop, you make a new folder anywhere, and then you can name it the name of the game. And so there's my folder, and then you just highlight all this shit, drag it over into your folder. It'll take some time to extract. Once that's done, all that shit will bleep away, and you can just click X. And then, here's basically your game, you can just click and play it now. Um, the reason that things are all zipped together and put into that nice little package um, that you need to unzip with Winmar is just because it's easier to download that way and it's faster to download that way. So that's basically how you download a game. Um, but if we're going to go back over and we're going to play a game, you can just play it in browser, just like this. Just a game I decided to play. I've already played this game, actually. And it's going to lag a bit because I'm recording, but HTML, it's fully functional I can't jump actually you damn crocodile and you can just play it right in browser and then you know chill whenever you play a game in browser it actually then shows up on your profile it says I'm currently playing t TIM started 26 seconds ago and under my last play it'll show up here for a little while which is you know pretty cool now however let's say I want to play a different game like unity Unity is a different type of browser game where sometimes, um, basically, Google Chrome, it says, do you want to let Unity run? You have to give it permission, then there'll be, like, a little box up in this corner, and you say allow. Or, you might have an error message, and it might say download manually. Um, Unity is just a, a very popular one, but if you just download that manually, you should be able to play Unity games, and that's just another way of playing in browser games. It's pretty stinking simple. Um, as long as you have WinRAR and Unity downloaded, and there are a few other ones, but these are the main two. Um, there's Java that needs to be downloaded and updated to play some games, but not a whole lot of them on this site. But yeah, so that's basically how you play a game. most complicated part would be unzipping. But anyway, bye!